You know, I am so pleased that you've chosen to be with us today. We have so many wonderful things here at Johnson County Community College that I really like to share with you. Today is a very special day because we have Joan McCrullis Lafferty and Joan is the chair of fashion merchandising and design here at Johnson County Community College and she has come to show us the most wonderful collection of designer clothing that the college owns and to talk about um, the fashion merchandising and design um, option here. Great. You told me you had about 140 students? We have 104 declared 104. majors in the... And they're not all making clothes or designing clothes. They're no. doing different things. They're about split evenly. We have, mm -hmm. about, uh, we have 54 merchandising majors. Uh, their primary um, goal here is probably going to be going into retail as management or promotion, possibly into, into the uh, wholesale side of the industry. And then the design students are what people probably do understand are yeah. there to learn how to, from uh, concept to production, learn how to make garments like we'll see today. I just think that's wonderful. And you know, I think so often in our community, we don't realize that that kind of a resource is here and available. I'm con I've been here a long time, and I'm still constantly hearing somebody, oh, I didn't know you had a yeah. fashion program. Yeah. And I would say that most of them do get jobs. I mean, the ones that design, it takes a while to, to get, you know, enough uh, behind you to be considered a designer that sells. But the others, I'm sure, get jobs. Our placement's excellent. Yeah. Uh, currently, I have 40, 42 interns on the job, combination yeah. of designers and also merchandisers. And so... Uh, so the designers do get jobs. The de designers do get jobs. They're often, uh, particularly the first semester, possibly an unpaid position mm -hmm. because the person that they're working for doesn't really know what their skills are oh, at that point. But, see, but then from then perfect. on. That's right. Yes. Because those internships are really valuable. And they're gotten because of their association with the college and you. I mean, you have a very fine reputation in this area, so when, when Joan calls and says, I have somebody good, they listen. So I congratulate. I mean, it's, that, that is a true compliment, and I mean it as such, so. Thank you very much. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about haute couture. Well, to be totally correct, we're gonna talk about more designer clothes. Haute couture okay. uh, is often used when we talk about, when we talk uh -huh. about fashion. But that's truly the 100% custom-made garment that people go in for fittings, and they're, they p typically will start at like $6,000 and go up from there. So, so, so the these, are uh, th these are designer clothes. We're going to talk about the one, this piece. Well, the one behind you is a perfect example. That's a Christian Dior. This is a Christian Dior. And we're fighting over which one of us could, but we, I'd have to have a gusset in the back because my <laughs> mother used to call it. But that is a gorgeous suit. It's a fabulous suit and a little bit of history on this one. This is 1947 Christian Dior Paris. And for fashion majors, for non-fashion majors, they often talk about this suit being a revolutionary change in fashion. But what really happened was the war came on and it was an interruption in the cycle. But Dior was so smart. Uh, the women were coming out of uh -huh. the war. They had been wearing basically unstructured clothes. Mm -hmm. So all the structure that needs to make this dress work is within the garment. So she didn't have to go out and buy new foundation garments or things like that. Basically. He took care of her. Isn't that interesting? Totally within the garment, and and he was a magnificent. Well, I know it has an underskirt, uh, a stiff underskirt to hold that mm -hmm. skirt out. Yes, and it and, and actually it would have been probably often even fuller than what we have it right now. Well, it's gotten kind of but tired since 1942. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we're so fortunate. Now to have there were more made than just this one. Then. Correct. Yes. Correct. What what would this have cost a Christian Dior in 1942? A, 1947 or 1947 excellent question and 
I, I don't know. But it would have been expensive. I didn't even take a stab at it. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sure <laughs> it was expensive. Research, I, it was yeah, expensive. It was expensive, very oh, definitely. Yeah. And this, this suit, and I think we need to, to make note of that, this suit is part of a huge collection that was given to the college by? Fashion Group International. We have uh, 3,000 pieces of apparel as well as many accessories and some of my faculty was real upset I didn't bring more accessories but you mean like pins and hats we had pins and hats and shoes and and some handbags if anybody has vintage handbags they'd like to donate we're, we're a little short in that category we'd really? love to have more okay. but uh, yes we have about did everybody pieces. hear that because we want to make <laughs> if you have vintage <laughs> handbags and from the 40s 50s? From, uh, for, we, our collection goes basically from 1860. We have very few, but a few pieces uh -huh. from the okay. 1860s through the 80s. We're really laxed in the 70s. Uh, the, the women that created this collection kind of, uh, well, unfortunately, most of them aren't with us anymore. Mm -hmm. And so we can well, go through I, the 80s. I, I'm sure that some of you out there, and you know there's a tax deduction. That's right. So you Johnson can, County Community College. That's <laughs> right. So you can you can give and whatever you have, they would love to have. And Joan does reserve the right to say yes or no. So we, we have to. to. We yes, have limited they have, space. <laughs> they have limited space. And But if you have anything you think uh, that the college could use to add to this wonderful collection, um, you can contact Joan McCrillis Lafferty at the college. That's correct. Uh, and we need to say a big thank you to the Fashion Institute because that was a huge gift. Yeah, if somebody would like to view fabulous. some of these things, are they on view anytime? Uh, they are housed in, on the second floor in the Carlson Center and uh, we're very fortunate that the college did recognize the value of this collection. So we are now on campus because we couldn't have pulled off what we, we did today if we were still at Bishop Miege North. So we're now literally on campus. And really the plan is if somebody would like to see it, uh, we have an assist, the department has an assistant and we're gonna kinda do Thursday afternoons by appointment. So if somebody, would like, if somebody would like but to see it. But you and I get a chance to see some of the things today. And we are gonna start with the designer things. Now, Joan and I, this is a major operation, I want you to know. <laughs> Joan, and I, Joan and I have to get up to, so, so that we can show you these clothes. And they're just, so I'm gonna rise and shine. And Allison, come on in here. Allison is wearing, um, I forgot. Uh, Bill Blast. Bill Blast. And you can see why I'm not a model. <laughs> <laughs> Allison is a design student here at the Correct. college, mm -hmm. and she likes the same thing I like, which is formal wear. Yeah. So we're looking for Allison to do really good things. Yes, go ahead and but look at this bill blast. Show is this not around. gorgeous? Look at that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is. Now, now, let me just ask you one thing: Are the undergarments built into this dress? No, no, no they're not. No. So Allison. these. <laughs> well, sometimes they sometimes they are. Built Correct. In, built into Correct. the dress. Not in this, not in this particular yeah. era. But I really would call attention to the detailing of it. Yeah. That is just beautifully constructed, and uh, I just, it's just, I it's just a type of dress that you beautiful. don't just find on any rack by any means. It's a fabulous mm -hmm. dress. This was an expensive. Now, more than one of these, all these things. All of these were would have been made in multiple numbers, numbers. but not in great not numbers. in mass numbers by any means. You know, Joan tells me, and and I think it's so interesting. I said, well, because I, I don't know very much about this, and Joan says these are are very. Um, they're worth a lot of money, these uh, these dresses, because they have aged well. Yes, they have. So this is absolutely gorgeous. And are her shoes vintage as well? Allison came up with her own shoes. Did she? <laughs> and they look great, thank you. <laughs> well, they just, I tell you, the whole thing. And the earrings, are they yours as well? Yes. Well, everything just goes well. We'll be waiting for Allison to do good things. <laughs> We're waiting for, are you going to call them Designs by Allison? Um, I haven't really come up with the name. We so have to, still, because we have yes. to say so everybody knows. Um, but um, I believe that what I want to go into as far as couture gowns will be, um, my collection will be called Ali Faye, which is my nickname and my middle name, giving homage to my mom and my grandmother because my grandmother was a seamstress, and that's where I get oh, my flair for fashion. see, there you so. go. It's genetic, Allison. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Allie Faye, watch for. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Allison, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.
<laughs> now, here we go. We're going through the closet. Mm -hmm. So, let's go with the first one. This is, I have to tell you, this is my absolute favorite one. But the problem is I can't get into it. Isn't this, look at this. It's look fabulous. Oh. It's Norman Norell. And uh, we wanted to bring a Norman Norell because I, I will briefly explain that this collection is a very, very high percent Kansas City women. And we have over a hundred Norman Norells. Kansas City women loved, Nor well, continue to love yeah. Norman Norell. Mm -hmm. So we have a very large, uh, very complete collection of Norman Norells. And this is definitely one of our favorites that we oh, wanted this to is, show. But I have to tell you, this dress is heavy. Look at the, look at the lining in this dress. I mean, it, it is a heavy piece of goods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, yeah, perfectly said. <laughs> but it is absolutely gorgeous. Norman Norell. Mm -hmm. And I love it because of the contrast in color. Is this, is this a statement of the times, do you think, this contrast, or is this just a statement of the designer? It's both. It was definitely the early 70s, and uh, contrast was quite popular, and we missed a beat here. It does have a, does have a self it has covered a belt. belt, yes. Out of the same fabric. Okay, we're going to make a, a trade here. Piece. I'm going to give you this one, and you're going to bring me another one. This is, this is such fun because it's like going through somebody else's closet. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Look at this, will you please? This is Lon Vaughn, another beautiful designer piece. The fabric is particularly spectacular. Is it, Joan, it almost looks like is, a canvas or something. It it's is. Heavy. It's, just, it's just fabulous. Oh, see, they're and all lined. Totally, Look at that. Totally lined. And I love this. Let me turn this around. There you Look go. Look at that. And this is also an industrial zipper. zipper. Is that was that? very popular in the 70s. But I you even, know, I, I see them now. Oh, yes. A zippers have made a resurgence. Yes. <laughs> yes. I love this. And, but you know, it takes, the, it takes a certain personality, a person, to pull this off. I would totally agree. I would think so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to trade you again. Isn't this the most fun? I just love this. I think these are gorgeous. And here she can. This is another fa I, this is another favorite of mine. I have to tell you. Look at this. Oh, look at this. This is a Pierre Cardin, and this is patent leather. Isn't this as far nice. as the trimming goes? Now I'm not a seamstress, but sewing that patent sewing leather that on, was. That's would have enough. been challenging. That is. Very definitely. Now this person, I'm going to put this on the ground, this person was shorter than I am. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the models today are so tall. And, um, and you, you saw how tall Allison was. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. And we might, might show the back of okay. it. Oh, good. Okay. Kind of you, you tell me what we need to say. show. Look it's a halter. And shows a beautiful back. You know, I think that we that what strikes me is the detail on all these things, mm -hmm. and I think that what you see today doesn't have the attention to detail that that these uh, that these clothes have. Mm -hmm. Now the next one is really pretty. I love glitters, <laughs> and these are, and these are. I'll trade you, dear. Thank you. These are glitters of the first water. Who did this? This is Mary McFadden. Oh. And she's very well known for her pleating. Does the material come this way? Or do you have to put these, be, these pleat things in? Does the she, uh, she has it custom made for her. Made yeah, oh. yeah. Look at this. But she and was. all of these are sewn on by hand. Yes? Mo yes. In this case, these would be. Look at that. And just, again, the attention to detail a zipper so that this can that. fit close around the wrist. Look at that. And everything is lined. I mean, look at, think of it. I mean, to me, I don't sew, and I've never had any great desire to learn, but I got to tell you, this is like making two garments. And it's, and they're just as beautiful inside out, most of them, as they, they are, are. I mean, looking at the right side. I'm going to unzip this in the back so you can see. Well, this is a small zipper, but Oh, this, by the way, by the way, is a size four. <laughs> look at this. I mean, if you turn this, look at this. These shoulder pads and everything in here, look at this. It's 
all lined. I mean, to me, and the color, this came from Neiman Marcus, and the color of this is absolutely magnificent. We better put it back on the hanger before I do something terrible here. And you know, I, I have to tell you too that these, it doesn't seem to hurt them to handle them because they are so well made. That, yes, and, uh, and we did kind of take, uh, when we get to some of the decade pieces, I'll show you what okay. time can do to things for sure. Okay, let's start with the turn of the century and take a look at one of those. And we'll direct your attention over here to this one as Shanice brings that out. Uh, this is a turn of the century and I haven't measured it, but the waistline is about this big. Maybe 18? <laughs> yeah, it could easily, yeah. it could easily be. Uh, this one is in really nice shape because it's out of cotton and so it preserves better. Oh, it's beautiful. We did, we did bring this one that I don't has know how to, to is on this. two hangers because of the way oh, I see. this would be built. Oh, I see. But again, turn of the century, very, very fitted. The leg of mutton sleeves. This is a very small person, too. A very small person. And unfortunately, uh, has, very good has seen yeah, wear and tear, tear very definitely. Tear. Well, but listen. it's great for our, our students to gather inspiration from. Well, and I got to tell you, when I get this old, I may be in this shape as well, so I can't. <laughs> Let's start now with the 20s. The 20s, the roaring 20s. We got to move it along here. We have, one, I, we have one piece from the 20s here on oh, the form uh, behind us, the pink one. There she is, is a beautiful there. piece of the 1920s. And then we brought another piece that's really kind of... Oh, isn't this fun? And Look this, at this is a <laughs> swimsuit. <laughs> oh, how fun. Look and this, this is 100% wool. wool. What it's is a this? Janssen. You can see the, the, yes, the, the logo. logo on the, isn't that funny? It, see, it has little panties underneath mm -hmm. here. Isn't that fun? And that would have been probably, it would have been 1915 to, to 1920. And this has to be pre-shrunk if it's wool. I mean, well, getting this wet would not be good for it. Yes, and, and ladies that had that swimsuit on didn't get too wet. Get wet. <laughs> <laughs> because it would have, <laughs> wool will it. stretch when it's wet, so. Yes, <laughs> it does funny things it that it would make it not fit so hot yes. after it gets through. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? And the, and the Janssen label is mm -hmm. right in it. Mm -hmm. okay. And this is another 1920s. Oh, look at this. This is really kind of me. I love this. Look at this. Velvet. Beautiful Who, crushed velvet. Who did this, do you know? Uh, this is not a designer piece. This is uh, a piece that we maintain for the authenticity of the time period. Isn't this pretty? And look it's just this. beautifully made. Look at this. Oh. That is absolutely, Joan, that is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And this probably is a one-of-a-kind piece. Yes. It could be. It'd be hard it's to, it. And everything again, everything is lined. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. And th now this is heavy, too. Uh, yeah, your coat's very heavy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it is. Okay, let's move along to the, look at this. Uh, this piece, unfortunately, doesn't look near as good on a hanger as it does on a body, but this is a 1930s, and what's very characteristic about this particular piece is that all the fabric's cut on the bias. So if, if we would have put this on Allison, it would have just flowed over the but body. But if you have any lumps and bumps, this does it not everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And we do have the fur trim as well as Isn't the... Isn't that... And this, look at that. Isn't that something? I, I'm just I'm just amazed at 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 what we uh, have. Oh, look at this! And properly accessorized. <laughs> Absolutely, and I always have to laugh at these little minks biting each other in the rear end here. Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. And this is uh, what? This is an Irene. And she did for the movies too, yes, didn't she? Very yes, very good. She certainly did. Isn't that something? And uh, you I'm take off. Ta I'm, I'm not gonna sure. Take it from you, just okay, so yeah, I can show the detail on the back. I should have taken that hanger off before I got here. I tell you what, we'll do. We'll just move it around. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, look at if that. If you look at the detailing oh, you look on at the that? back, if those of you, any of you that sew, will totally appreciate this. Now it is perfectly matched. Look at that. And, and here as well. See, there's exactly. a seam here, seam and here. on the diagonal. A seam here, 
see him here. Can you imagine? You'd be out of your mind. And the points match exactly. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? You would be. You'd have it's, to be on the ass. It's aspirin. fabulous. Isn't that some? And again, if you can just imagine how much inspiration our students can take from some of the pieces out of and this And you see collection. it has a, we used to call these dickies. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the colors are so pretty. I just think, oh my goodness. I'm going to let we'll her let, take yep, care of that. And I'll trade you. Oh my goodness, look at this. Right. We brought this in an example of the 1950s. Very fitted waistline. It likewise has a self belt. Self -belt to How'd it. you like that? But See, we, aren't you impressed? There you go. You got it. Yeah. And, but also, and this is not a designer piece, but the detail, Look at and you were talking about that looking at things, it just makes it so this interesting. This is a whole separate piece. Uh huh. Oh my goodness. And so, just for the, just for design, this huh. type of detail is done. Not for purpose, but for design. Is, is there anyone who makes patterns? I mean, in, the, in, your, in your school, does anyone make patterns? We teach flat pattern, uh -huh. which is the first course. And then we also t teach CAD pattern development, which is a computer. Computer. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? This, I have to tell you, is a little bit dull compared to some of the other. <laughs> it is. <laughs> OK. Oh, but now we're going to now now we're back we're to the make glitz. up for it. Look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay, talk about this. All John. right, this oh would be gosh. out of the 1960s. Everything was ensemble dressing, so we have three pieces here, all out of the this same fabric. Yes. This is not. not. And as I say, these, just to think how fabulous look all at these this is made. Buttons. Look at this. And no particular oh. You can make earrings out of those mm -hmm. buttons. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful piece of material. In fact, often uh, it. We, we've picked up some of these clothes, not a lot, but some of the clothes have been picked up from vintage sales. Uh -huh. And often you will find fabulous garments like this missing the buttons. And then, because. Well, you either have to go without a button or shoot yourself. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> you have no choice here. Isn't that pretty? And, oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, my goodness. This Look, is oh. also in the 60s. Again, ensemble dressing. We have buttons on the front, but the actual closure is a snap. But then Look we have that. the matching Look sheath that. underneath. Here we are. Look at that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Um, Allison said she, she likes formal wear. Can you imagine going to a, a ball dressed like this? I mean, you would really feel and you have fur and oh my goodness. Look at that. And these buttons. Again, look at these buttons. And again, the construction here is very detailed. Rather than a dart, we have a full seam here that Goodness. also transitions into, into a, a pocket. pocket. One slip of the scissors and you've had it. <laughs> <laughs> that is gorgeous. And look at this. Oh my goodness. And some of you certainly are old enough to remember the maxis of the 70s, so we brought this one in to uh, remind everybody of that's not always good design. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But yeah, well, this, this the rick rack, I mean, it's, it's very characteristic. But the skirt is quilted. Yes, yes, yes. And the rick rack is applied on top. Mm -hmm. Or actually, no. No, I'm it's caught, in the material. I'm in a fo uh, it's caught in, in a mistake say, there. I was going to yeah, say, what about us? Is it losing our <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I was I've been looking, my been looking at the top too much. Is mm. it that pretty? But it, you know, but it's so it's pretty because it's it's so well done. Mm -hmm. I just think. Do you have a? Do, oh, look at this one. Oh. Look at this. It's all sewn in the. Mm -hmm. Look at this. This is a, a, a great apparel example of pop art. <laughs> and this is, also, this is a Pierre Cardin. So this would have been the this 60s, have been the 70s? Late 60s, early 70s. Mm -hmm. Now see, again, this is heavy. This dress yes, is heavy. All our gar all, the good garments are heavy. <laughs> are heavy, yeah. But, but I, guess, I guess I'm surprised because when you buy things today, they're not heavy. 
just don't Do use you think the quality fabrics the quality, that we used to. The quality isn't there today, is it? Mm -mm. Not not unless you not unless you can really afford nice things. There's well, quality out yeah, there. Yeah, but, but when you say really wow. afford nice things, if mm -hmm. you bought this dress today, it might cost you six, seven thousand dollars to have this dress made. It, to have it made? Mm -hmm. Yes. I would. I, I would. mean, if you bought this today, from the house of Cardan, it would cost you six or seven thousand. It'd be dollars. very expensive. So very most of us don't have that kind of money. Mm -hmm. And, and I guess maybe there's less of a market for it. I don't know. But whoever owned this dress, mm -hmm. it has no spots. I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. beautifully taken mm -hmm. care of. Beautifully taken care of. That, and uh, isn't this, this is so interesting. Just a zip, just a yep. punch yep. right there. In the, I just think that. Oh, look at this. Now, this was the beginning of the short skirts. Yes, this is the 80s. And um, just, you know, the skirt lengths vary a lot, so you certainly can't date things just on skirt, skirt lengths. Length. But uh, you know we what they say? I, I read someplace that when times are tough, what is it, the skirts get shorter or they get longer? They get longer. Longer. Mm -hmm. So I guess we don't realize it, but everything's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but this is just, can you imagine what a statement this makes? Absolutely. And that is an Oscar de la Rente. This is an Oscar de la Rente. Mm -hmm. oh. You know, you told me that um, these were, people do collect uh, clothing, don't they? Do? Definitely, definitely. Right. People, you know, there's, uh, as we were talking earlier, many people view this fabulous apparel as art pieces. Well, they are art pieces. And they are. They are art pieces. I mean, think about the the uh, the black with the red and the black with the pink tie. That's and this this is art. Mm -hmm. And design the pattern the, here, the using the plaid and all. The yeah, see that has a little ruffle or something. Around the, but can you imagine the work that goes into them is. Over, overwhelming, mm -hmm. really. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to say thank you to Joan McCrellis Lafferty because the design and merchandising department here is outstanding. And thank you. you have just done a terrific job. And remember, on Thursday afternoons by appointment, you may see these. And if you have any vintage um, accessories, the department would like to take a look at them. <laughs> so I know that you will take a look in your closet just like we have looked in your closet yes. today, John. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. It has been such fun to take a peep inside. Thank you for being with us. It's our community, and I'm Mary Davidson. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you again soon. <laughs>